All right, first this morning, 18 years ago, Danette and Raleigh Owens took a chance and opened the first drive through coffee stop in Hill City. Today, they are ready to pass on that legacy to new owners. Kate Robinson has their story. In July of 2006, the window to the Annie Lode Coffee Cabin opened for the first time. The small business was the first of its kind in Hill City. Well, Raleigh worked at Albertsons, and when they put in the Starbucks uh, around 2004, he saw how busy they were, and I like coffee, so it's like, and we both kind of wanted a change. We were just ready for a change, so we thought about it for a couple of years. So, and we did some planning, so we finally broke ground then a couple years after the process. The owners knew they faced challenges, but that did not stop them. And when we first opened, we had a lot of obstacles. Being a new business in an area that some people said was like out in the middle of nowhere. But we, we have really good work ethics and we work well together. So if you just stick it out, it's going to work out. So it did. With the married couple being the only two employees, they counted on the community for help. They know that relationship is what a small business is all about. We try to go to Hill City to get a lot of our products, our milk, um, items like that. And for our bigger items, we'll go to Rapid City. But it's it's... It's just really nice being part of the community and getting to know people. While changes aren't coming until April, the couple knows the iconic coffee stand will be in good hands. Jen, who has Black Hills Bistro, she's going to lease this from us in April. She will reopen it. I think it's going to be under a different name than the Black Hills Bistro, and it won't be the coffee cabin anymore. After nearly 20 years, the Owens are going to miss their customers' friendly faces the most. They are the best. <laughs> Meeting the community, all of the people yeah. who who they have become friends of ours, it's, we'll miss that the most. And I guess I've enjoyed working with Raleigh. This is the first yeah. time we've ever worked we're together. together. We're both good workers. We though. are, yeah. I don't think it would have worked if we both weren't good workers. To the future of hopeful small business owners, they say it's all about relying on your instincts. Reporting in Hill City, I'm Kate Robinson.